Hey guys, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. Today we'll be talking about this 36 volt electric ATV for kids. Elise here just turned four. Uh, we got this for her um, almost a year ago though. Uh, so when she was three, she was driving it around. It has a couple unique features on it I like to talk about. And um, you know, first off, it you know the name is uh, Go Bowen. That's kind of the, the manufacturer. I bought this through um, Green Country um, Bring Big Toys, and that um, they, they say they do a couple other features to it as far as making like a brushless motor um, and some different speed settings. So this has um, three different speed settings on it. I think it's um, it's like uh, six miles per hour, uh, ten miles per hour, and then like fifteen. Um, and so I keep it right now in the lowest setting. Every once in a while I'll go uh, to the 10 mile per hour setting. Um, but you gotta be careful because then they can flip over if they turn too sharp. Um, but so being four, she likes it and she's able to go out on the trails with me. You know, the big difference with this versus something like a little Power Wheels. Um, first off, Power Wheels typically always have the plastic tires. Uh, we did upgrade her to a, um, a four wheel drive Power Wheels, this, this Razor and it has rubber kind of tires. Um, you know, they're not a pneumatic, they're still just, um, you know, stiff rubber. But it doesn't have enough power. And that's a 12 volt system, but it can go up hills. This, I'm really impressed with its ability um, to go up hills. In fact, I've actually towed, um, I made a barrel train in one of my other videos, and she's able to tow six uh, 55 gallon barrels on, uh, on wheels with me in it, uh, with this around the driveway. Uh, so it has a lot more torque then you'll get out of any of these. Now, she also has a gas-powered go-kart, and that one obviously is the um, the most powerful and the fastest, but um, for younger kids, and if you only need one seat, this actually does a really good job. Um, you know, probably the biggest downside to this, um, other than the fact that it doesn't have a roll bar or something, um, and that it, you know, it is a little tippier, is the brakes are harder for the younger kids to grab. She's um, learned that now. Um, but it really took her, you know, until she was closer to four years old before her hands were big enough. Can you try to grab those brake levers? You know, it's, it's, it's kind of a stretch for her to, to grab them. So that's probably the biggest drawback to it. Uh, but it does have uh, forward and reverse. Uh, so there's a switch right here. You can you can switch, go forward and backwards. Go uh, forward and backwards. It has a battery indicator over here on the right. So it tells you when your battery gets low. It is, I've never actually ran the battery out. Um, driving it, it says it goes for like two two and a half hours and, and I believe it I, I we've definitely gone out for driving where we go for 30 45 minutes out on trails going up and down hills and stuff and it holds up well um, so um, you know it, it has suspension it has you know independent front and then the live axle rear suspension but it's very stiff but, 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 so it doesn't really do I, a lot you know you can I, you can see even I can barely um, actuate the suspension so it's really stiff it doesn't really provide that much um, cushion. It has the uh, battery in the center, which is good obviously for um, weight distribution. It's, oh, it's down low. It's not even going. It's not on, yeah, but that's the throttle. So it has a twist throttle, um, which I thought would be kind of hard for the kids to get used to, but they actually, um, they actually, actually got used to it really well, and that's but good. But these are my lights, then it turn on. Yeah, that's your lights to turn on. So it does have little LED lights. Um, you know, it's kind of a nice feature. We don't drive at night. The brakes are a cable brake, so similar to a bicycle brake, um, so it's not a hydraulic brake. But, but, um, but, but, but it does have the two front brakes and one rear brake. It's a chain drive from the electric motor uh, back to the rear axle, and then it has actual uh, pneumatic tires uh, that give you good grip. So let me um, show you some videos of her driving around uh, so you can see how she likes it. Yeah, and which one's your favorite? What's your biggest? This one, that one, that one, that one. Oh, they're all your favorite. Well, are you ready to put your helmet on and get driving? Yes, but I get it so big and big. You are. So I don't even need my helmet anymore. Oh yeah, you definitely need your helmet.
Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the different uh, speed. So this is a little key that gives you, it's different than the ignition key to make it go. And then there's this little um, little key slot here that you put this in. And then you can turn it. And that would be medium speed and then full speed. So I had it on the slow speed. Now I'm going to put it on the 10 mile per hour setting. And we'll show you how that is. That was pretty quick, huh? Yeah, it's super soft. Okay, so now we'll go to the max speed here. She's never actually experienced this. This will be 15 miles per hour. Okay. It's keeping her straight line. Daddy in tow. Daddy's in the banana boat in the back. We have this little four wheel drive razor. It does have electric motors at each wheel. It has no suspension, it actually has kind of a suspension up front and kind of a suspension in the rear um, it does move actually probably more than her ATV in the rear it's got uh, foam filled uh, rubber tires and they're kind of foamy tires not so much rubber but it certainly have better grip than the plastic tires of a standard power wheels now it has a uh, 12 volt uh, battery system it has two 12 volt batteries in there um, I think they're each about 7 amp hour, so 14 amp hour total, I think, is what it is. Um, and then it has electric power steering to help you steer. And part of that is because it has a remote. So this remote is kind of cool. Not only does it have a stop button that you can press, and it'll stop the kids from driving wherever they are, but also lets you drive them around. So my younger child, uh, daughter, is 18 months old, so I can actually put her in here and drive her around. 
without her knowing how, how to drive at all. So that's kind of a neat feature of this that certainly none of the other um, vehicles that we have have. So that's kind of neat. It does have uh, some little features. It have like a SD card, USB for an MP3 player. It does have preloaded songs that you can play. Um, then it has uh, lights. You can switch from between two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. And then it has a gear shift lever that you go three different speeds and then neutral and reverse. So let's uh, get this started up and go. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Belly! Okay, I'm out of breath chasing her around, but I want to show the capabilities of this ATV versus some of the other stuff. So here, she here has the bottom of this little hill. You see it's not crazy steep, but you know, it's a little bit steep. So Elise, let's have you uh, put your feet down and go up that hill as fast as you can. All right, good job. All right, so you can see no, no problem at all there blast right up that hill okay guys so now we're at the same hill that we were at with the ATV this time we have the little razor out all right at least give it a go full throttle Doesn't work very well on the grass. Yeah, it's slow, huh? So it has a slow start feature, so it doesn't have the jerks like a power wheel, but it really hurts it from getting to go, especially in the grass. It's really much better on packed dirt or the driveway. So I'm actually surprised it made it. Normally wanted to make it, but that's a fully charged battery that uh, we just unplugged from the charger and it barely made it up with her in it. So one thing I will say is the kids do like the Razor because it has the music. So that would be a neat feature that they should add to these other go-karts and ATVs. Okay, so now we have the Power Wheels, and this is an actual Power Wheels brand. Obviously, it's a little bit older. It's a Dell Earnhardt um, Junior number eight car. I think it's very similar to all the other Power Wheels from the electronic side. And then the tires are these little plastic tires that don't have a lot of grip, but uh, it's certainly good for the asphalt. And this is a great uh, starting vehicle because it's easy to drive. Um, it doesn't have a lot of steering angle, so they can't get in trouble flipping. Um, you know, they can uh, certainly flip the ATV and the go-kart. Those are uh, fast enough and grippy enough tires that uh, uh, she's actually flipped the ATV once and she's gotten the go-kart up on two wheels um, before. So this one has uh, two speeds forward. It has a slow and a fast. I think it's two and a half miles per hour for the slow and five miles per hour for the fast. And there's a lockout so you can keep the kids at two and a half um, until they're ready for the, um, the five miles per hour. Um, but uh, we'll show you her. She's outgrown it. 
so she never didn't really ride anymore. But give them a give them a go at least. Show them how it goes. Okay, so last we have this uh, go-kart here. This is a Trailmaster Mini XRX slash R. The slash R means it has reverse as well as the, the forward. Um, and then the um, this one is gas powered. It's a five and a half horsepower um, Lifan engine, which is basically a Honda knockoff. Um, and so I bought it because it is by far the smallest gas powered go-kart that I could find. And it also has this benefit of the pedals, um, when they come from the factory, they're actually back about another six inches. But I, uh, you unbolt them and you can slide them forward like I did, and that allows um, someone that's young. So hop out at least for a second, I'm showing. It also uh, slides the seat forward, so the seat has about three inches of adjustment here. So I'll slide them forward. <laughs> this is how Elise normally sits. So hop on in there Elise. So she just turned four, actually like two days ago. And um, but I got this for her earlier this year, so she's about three and a half. And go ahead and put your feet on those pedals, and you can see that she can reach both the gas and brake pedals very easily with the back all the way up against the, the seat. Now, one thing I did do is I switched out the uh, the standard harness, which is on this passenger side. Uh, these buckles I've had problems with them actually working well, so uh, I replaced hers with a racing harness. I have another little racing harness for her sister uh, when we need that, but this has a independent front suspension and then it has a um, live axle in the rear with kind of a um, you know, subframe here for the engine and that whole uh, rear frame there um, rotates uh, with the suspension travel it is stiff like all these things they all seem super stiff for the kids so they don't have a lot of a lot of suspension gives they're kind of all bumpy i'd say but it's got uh, neutral forward and reverse it's got um, the horn, it's got choke, it has electric start and a kill switch up here. Here's the uh, Lifan 168F, you know, five and a half horsepower is what it says. Gas tank up here. Um, then you got your transmission and then you have your, um, your CVT uh, transmission there. Hey, she knows how to start it up, that's for sure. <laughs>
Okay, so you know, honestly, of these right now, um, she kind of goes in, in in spurts, but the little electric ATV is her favorite. One of the things that she doesn't, and including her sister, don't like about the go-kart is that they say it's loud because um, it's their only gas-powered machine. So, um, you know, that's something to consider. You know, it is a little bit noisier, obviously, and you sit, you sit right in front of the engine. So, you know, right now her favorite is her electric ATV. And what I would love and what I, I hope they make eventually is a, is a good electric uh, go-kart that's a two-seater. Um, you know, right now there aren't any out there um, that I like that are off-road for sure by. So we have about five miles of trails out. Um, they're mostly grass trails, but I need something that can handle a little bit of off-roading and some mud puddles and stuff. So overall, um, you know, the only one I would say I probably don't recommend is the Razor. You know, I'm really kind of unimpressed with its um, ability and battery um, charge. It doesn't last that long, um, but the Power Wheels is robust. Um, it lasts a long time. The kids like the the Razor with all the little fancy features like the radio and stuff, but um, really I've had more problems with it than anything else. Um, this little electric ATV has been great. It works well. I like the the speed selector and then the go kart. You know I like and I think it's gonna be the longest lasting of them once they start to like the uh, the engine sound a little better. Go fast, yep. Wow. All right. Go fast, 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 fast. Oh, you let go. Good try. All right, go. Bye. See you later.